Hello people, this is Nakul. As you all know me, and the reason today I'm making this video is because I'm really pissed off. Cause I just had to hard reset my Asus Zenfone 5. I had to do a factory reset, and the reason why I had to do that is the new KitKat update on Asus Zenfone 5, which is full of shit, full of bugs. And because of that, I just had to hard reset my phone. As you can see, the everything is on stock. No customization, no apps install. I just finished hard resetting it. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but in my last video, I showed you guys that what's the changes in the new update, what are the new things in KitKat update, in which I also showed you that the keyboard wasn't working in the contact section. When I tried to search for a contact using the keyboard, the keyboard wasn't popping out. I'll put a link of the video right over here so that you can go there and see that problem. So when after some time I started using the phone normally, it turned out that the keyboard wasn't working anywhere like in messaging, WhatsApp, Play Store, like it wasn't working anywhere. So that's a major thing because I couldn't type any freaking thing. So I was really pissed and I was also making a video about that, that you guys shouldn't update your phone to the KitKat version because of the lots of bugs. And in that video I was showing the bugs I was facing. The first bug was that I was unable to download or update some apps because some 923 error. And the second and the major bug was that the keyboard wasn't working and I was trying to show that in that video to you guys. And I was also trying to find a solution for that. So earlier I was making that video. So just take a look at that video and you'll see how it was without the keyboard. It wasn't working anywhere. So just take a look. The KitKat update of Asus Zenfone 5 really sucks. And I don't want you to update your Asus Zenfone 5 or 6 to KitKat version. Now I'll tell you why. The first reason is, as you can see here, I'm not able to update or install some apps because of this stupid error as you can see. 923 this is happening after the update and secondly the main reason I don't want you to update your phone is I don't know if you guys saw my last video or not which was about the KitKat update on Asus Zenfone 5 and what are the new things what are the changes and I showed you a bug and the bug was about that how I'm not able to see any keyboard in contact section when I tap over here as you can see no keyboard is popping up but later on I find out that the keyboard is not working anywhere as you can see no keyboard it's like keyboard isn't working anywhere so this is one major bug and I also googled about it and there are many people like almost everyone is facing some issues some people are unable to connect their 3G data, some are unable to download apps and some are facing the same keyboard issue. So I don't want you to download the KitKat update of Asus Zenfone 5 or 6 until it gets fixed by Asus. So as you just saw that the downloading error and the keyboard wasn't working anywhere. So I was trying to fix that. So first of all, the first method that I read on the internet was that go to apps. I'm telling this because if some of you are facing that problem so you can try it out this solution. So first of all you need to go in settings apps then you have to slide all over to the left like this all apps. Then you need to go in the Asus keyboard and over here you will see an option of uninstall updates you have to hit that. I am not seeing that option because I just did the factory reset so the apps are not updated yet but in your phone you will see an uninstall update option right over here in the right side so you have to hit that and install the keyboard then you have to go in the play store go to my apps and over here you will see this Asus input method as you can see it says update and yours will show the same because you just uninstalled the updates so you have to update it and then you have to restart your device and after restarting the phone then you can check if the keyboard has started working or not if yes then good for you if not 
and then unfortunately you also have to do the hard reset the factory restore and for that I had to do many things guys trust me it was such a pain in the ass so first of all you need to back up your data like contacts SMS and WhatsApp and all that stuff so while I was backing up all my data the problem is that all the backup was being created in internal storage I don't know what's the matter but uh, after the update it's just not letting me create any files like backup files in my SD card I don't know why so that was again pretty annoying so all the files are being created in internal storage and usually I use the ES file explorer currently I don't have anything installed so I can't show you guys so usually I have ES file explorer so I thought I would copy all those files from internal memory to SD card from there but unfortunately it wasn't allowing me to do that also Plus, when I connected my phone to the PC through data cable and when I tried to copy all the stuff directly from the phone to my laptop, then also it weren't allowing me to do that from internal storage or external storage. It just kept on showing calculating time to copy uh, all the content and the progress bar weren't moving at all for 15 minutes. So I was like, I was like freaking annoyed. So I had to go in the file manager, uh, let's see if I have it over here, here it is, now in that I don't have currently SD card right now but below the internal storage will show you the micro SD card. So I had to go in this thing and then I had to manually pick everything which were the backup files and I had to copy them. Uh, I'll show you an example just like this you have to copy from here as you can see so I had to copy then go back from here to the memory card then paste over there then I had to remove the memory card put it in my card reader and then copy all those files to my laptop so that I have a backup now after doing that I had to hard reset my phone so for that we usually have to go in settings, go to backup and reset, then we have to go in factory data reset. I have my email here so I can't show you that. So we have to do reset phone. Now over here as you can see it says please type this confirmation code and then you have to press erase everything. Now as you all know that the keyboard wasn't popping out and it wasn't showing at all so how the hell I was supposed to enter this number because this thing the keyboard wasn't popping out at all it was just like this as you can see. So what I had to do is let me show you the other thing now. You have to turn off your device first make sure you have battery more than 50%. So you have to turn off your device. Now you have to press your power key and volume up button like this for 3-5 seconds until you see the boot screen. I'll show you when. Keep pressing. And as you can see, you'll see this screen. Now as you can see this. To navigate up and down you have to use the volume keys up and down as you can see you have to go to the factory reset oops yeah you have to go to the factory reset and you have to then press power button now let me warn you here it will not ask for confirmation guys it's just once you have to press the power button when you are here and it will directly hard reset your phone it won't ask for confirmation so be careful about it so when you hit this the phone will restore and it will take around 8-9 minutes to restore the whole phone but as I have already done that so I will just do a normal reboot and after that finally your keyboard and everything will work fine so this is pretty annoying that at what the hell was Asus thinking while releasing this KitKat update because there are like so many bugs in it. So I would suggest you to not update your phone guys. Just keep it on Jelly Bean for now until the stable version of KitKat update is out. 
please do not update your phone so that's it for now guys let me just show you once again that uh, the keyboard is working now as you can see so that's it for now guys let me know if you have any questions suggestions then put them in the comments down below and will try my level best to help you out guys and please do not update your Asus Zenfone 5 or 6 or even 4 to KitKat update because it's full of bugs right now. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos.